Hello and welcome to my next tutorial. This one is about bubbles. You have the work files if you are tier $5 plus on my Patreon. You have the work files and to show you how I did it, let's focus on those first bubbles there. And it's created from just three of them. The one that's going like this the second one that's going like this splitting dividing into a couple more smaller ones and the one that is almost on the ground let's draw it quickly what is happening there so in order to make this bubble happen i just simply draw them obviously frame by frame from the very very small just like the bubbles I did from the beam that I showed you in the previous tutorial uh, I had this one circle uh, like a part of the circle like this and I kind of copied and pasted going with this downward And that was because those balls, those bubbles was growing. And to make them grow, as I showed you on this previous tutorial, it's kind of going upward to have this kind of shape get out of water. So to make it work properly and to make the perspective works, you have to push this downward to uncover more and more bubble because if you will look from the top for this bubble if when it's glow when it's growing and there is the camera plane when it's growing this spot here is closer to camera and that's why this one have to go downward over and over okay so to make those bubbles work the first frame is a very very tiny fraction of a bubble and then it's growing rapidly so it's something like this then it's kind of started to slow down and when it slows down it kind of wants to stay in that perfect spot to uh, to make the surface tension be comfortable with it so in order to make it happen it have to come out of the water just a bit to be in a position like this uh, for this example here i will make it work on tools from this spot but I used to draw them on ones uh, here you go it's on twos and then on the next frame I kind of started to creating something like this to just burst those bubbles and it's applicable for almost all of the examples I showed you there so that's a very 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 quick and easy way sometimes uh, between this frame and this one i tend to add one more frame that's started to burst this bubble like a hole inside of it so you can see uh, why this bubble is actually vanishing because this hole inside is growing rapidly to just eliminate the bubble and that's why you have those tiny things here and in the full speed it will looks just like the example i showed you so that's the one of the examples i did there uh, so let's focus on the next ones when the bubbles when the bubble wants to go 
outside you have to make it smaller at the bottom and allow it to go outward just like just like that so you can see it's going outside but the surface tension wants to close this bubble there so that's why it's thinner there and then it's so thin that it's almost not have this connection there and at the next frame what you can do you can do one of the two things one of them will be just to create one bubble above and what I like to do when it's somewhere there I like to give this ball a very very quick kick so because it's losing the connection it's going rapidly up in this one frame and then it's slowing down to burst going there slowing down then you can add this circle on or like two circles inside and then it's bursting and you can add as many variety to it as you want to make it look the way you want obviously uh, the second thing you can do instead of just popping this bubble up uh, I tend to add a little small thing here that will burst just a couple frames after just before the bubble on the top and this is how it looks so this one is looking like this you can check the timing and spacing exactly on my uh, examples that was just a rough sketch of how those things are moving and that's how I created those bubbles here once I had them drown I added more uh, more of them I duplicated them and to make the cycle works properly as you can see I divided it to make it start there and continue on the first frame so it's just a 29 frames cycle at this point so that was this first example and as you can see the style is pretty pretty easy just one solid color with a little bit of uh, shininess on the side of it on the every every single frame on the second example I did almost the same but if you will stop on this frame it actually instead of going from this into this state I started to burst those bubbles from those bubbles and then they are just going away I added on the every single of them just this one uh, like a blob that's coming uh, on the opposite side of the hole so if you if I have the hole here I'm going to have this small circle there if I have the hole on the left on and the right the small bubble is there uh, and I have like a fraction of the ripple it's not the ripple it's just a uh, water uh, I will make the another tutorial for the ripples so for now it's just this and then when I have the one that's connected like this very big I have the small ripple on the top and it's a stylistic choice to uh, disappear them slower forming those circles just a different bubble to burst that was the second one and the third one was a very 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 quick example with just an outline there's nothing else than just an outline that's growing rapidly again and bursting in a very very same same way 
Then is the fourth one, which is the most complicated, and I added to it uh, this. I'll have the ripple on the uh, next tutorial uh, for those bubbles. I added those things to those bubbles uh, with apply image transformation and refract node, which I'm not gonna dive deep into this video too much. I will just show you what's how it's working. Uh, there is a mask that I drew with my pencil, and uh, this is not moving at all. I could move it, but the balls are moving, the bubbles are moving, so I don't have to move it at all. And when it's coming through the drawing that I have and the Gaussian. Gaussian blur, which is blurring them. If I will show you like this, you can see that they are kind of blurred. They could be blurred more, but it's okay for now to have them blurred like this. And when it's coming from the for the image transformation, which is there, uh, which is just moving the bubble downward, uh, flipping it with the pack transformation, one is flipping them, one is uh, reverting it, and you can actually see for, for now what the refract node is doing with this mask that I drew, the casual flipped bubble is looking like this, just a simple one, and once it's refracted, this actual mask there, you can see it and compare it when it's not on the white thing, it's kind of bending this shape, and that's how it's uh, how it's moving uh, in a very very easy way. If I can uh, show you this, and also the intensity and height will define how much it's bent. So you have to play around with those numbers uh, with those numbers to make it work the way you want. Uh, and with this bubble in here, there is nothing too complicated other than what I just show you. Just uh, three of them, the cycle is more complicated and it's more detailed as well, but it's pretty much working in the very, very same way than I showed you what you can see here is is the thing that i already showed you when the ball is growing and it's slowing down there it continues its motion and then you can see it's popping from the bottom then this ball is popping and this ball is popping with a little bit more details and also there is this frame here but what's interesting is when it's unconnected it's kind of prepared for the motion to go upward for the motion to go upward because it's it loses the connection there it was like this, then it lo loses the connection with this ball here, and now it gains speed, it gains momentum. So in the next frame, this ball here, this bubble here, will be uh, stretched in the other side, so it will go way, way higher than it is, as you can see on the next frame. So that's why it gaining speed basically. And then it's just going up and bursting. So all of the bubbles are pretty, pretty easy. You can play around with the timing and spacing, how they are forming. Uh, you are free to make something even more complicated that I haven't, uh, ha haven't did there. Uh, and what I mean is to make two bubbles connected to each other when they are going outside of the uh, of the water. 
so at some point maybe they are uh, like unconnected like there while the other one is still connected to it you are free to do whatever you want and uh, just make sure you have fun doing it uh, those two I would rather maybe connect themselves to form one bigger ball a one bigger bubble because of the surface tension which might just uh, join them together into one bigger one with that being said i hope you can draw those bubbles by yourself now if you are five plus year you can uh, download the file that i'm showing you right now and just study what i did study uh, what i uh, did to make this refract node and how i made everything work together Thank you, thank you so much for watching and see you around for the next tutorials. Have a wonderful day. Cheers.